What's up guys? In today's video, I'll be talking about my favorite back exercises to do when you're limited on equipment or you prefer a more simplified, minimalist approach to training and then the benefits of each. And if you're new to my channel, I just want to mention that I do offer online coaching and I also have an ebook that contains several routines and also a guide to aesthetics. Check out the links in the description or the comments if you want to check those out, but let's get straight to it. Honestly, over the last few years, my back training has mostly just consisted of some type of row and a pull-up variation. I've alternated between dumbbell and barbell rows and also inverted rows and weighted pull-ups. Since I'm in the process of building back my strength and muscle, my goal right now is to get about three sets of 20 on pull-ups before I get back to using a weight belt and doing weighted pull-ups. So let's start with how to and then the benefits of the pull-up. I like to perform these with a wide grip, bring my chin over the bar, and then slowly come all the way back down until your arms are fully locked out and then repeat. The more you swing and move your body, the less work you're gonna get overall. So slow and controlled will make sure you're getting maximum activation on all muscle groups involved. When you get into your last few reps, you'll probably struggle with form, but try your best to stay strict with it. You're not gonna be able to be perfect, um, but just try your best to, to maintain a good form. Pull-ups are an awesome way to also widen your back and give you the V-taper look most people go for when training for aesthetics. They heavily engage your lats and also your biceps and then several other muscle groups as well. Show me anyone that can do 20 strict pull-ups and I can guarantee you they will have a muscular back. Pull-ups are a time-tested movement that has a ton of benefits that carry over to everyday life as well and will always have a place in your routine. If you struggle with these, I recommend to start off with hanging a band from the bar and then putting your knee or foot through and do these assisted and then gradually work your way up over time. And then you can also start with the negatives and that's where you start at the top with your chin over the bar and then slowly lower yourself with the goal being to lower yourself slower each time. And then eventually you'll be able to perform a full pull up and then move on to the weighted version. And another benefit of the pull up is just a wide variety of variations. You can do a wide grip, a close grip, hammer grip, you can do chin ups and these all offer slightly different benefits. You could always switch it up every few weeks or months to make sure you're maximizing your gains. So basically the key takeaway is that pull-ups definitely should have a spot in your training, especially if you're limited on equipment, all you need is a bar and your body weight. Could you only do pull-ups and still build an impressive back? Probably, but you would be missing out on a lot of development that a horizontal row brings. So the next exercise is gonna be the standard barbell row. And this is not to get confused with like a bodybuilding row. I like to start with these on the floor. The bodybuilding row, you normally start in more of an upright position. So I'll start with these on the floor, pick a grip that's just slightly wider than shoulder width. And then I take a pretty narrow stance, but you can pick what's comfortable for you. Pull the slack out of your arms, straighten out your back and explode up and then reset at the bottom and then repeat. Sometimes I'll do multiple touch and go reps in a row, but I try my best to still keep my form strict and controlled. And if you're just bouncing the weights, they could shift and throw you off balance and then cause an injury. So I found it best to just pause and reset quickly after each rep. Now I'll mostly perform the standard barbell row, but do whatever variation you enjoy, whether it's a seated cable or a dumbbell row or also T-bar rows, they're all going to thicken up your back and get you jacked. Pull-ups are gonna be a lot more lat focus while the row is gonna hit the mid back and rear delts to get you that overall development. And just like the pull-ups, I'd recommend rotating exercises to avoid overuse every few months or so. But to sum this up, doing some type of pull-up in a row can be an effective strategy to build an impressive back to those looking for a more minimalist approach to training. They are compound movements, so you're training several muscle groups at once. They offer total back development and they're time efficient. And by incorporating both vertical and then horizontal pulls, you're gonna minimize the chances of developing muscular imbalances. So just pick one variation of each to focus on at a time. Don't worry about trying to do chin-ups, hammer grips, and wide grip in a single workout. Keep it simple and focus on progression. People think you need to do all this complexity to see good results. It's not true. You just need to focus on adding reps and weight over time and consistency. Like I always say though, at the end of the day, the main thing with any training program or system is consistency and time. So stick to it and keep making gains. Peace.